Now, what are the shortcomings? What are the shortcomings that are still there? We had learned that rural areas have 38% of the total commercial banks, 38% are in the rural areas, whereas 70% of the population lives in uh, rural areas and only 38% of the banks are there in rural areas. So, I think we can work more on, uh, on that area. There can be more branches that can be opened up in the rural areas. Then there is regional imbalances. There are certain states which have a very good banking system like Arunachal Pradesh, Maharashtra, uh, Uttar Pradesh. They have good banking system. Whereas states of Northeast and Jammu and Kashmir, there the banking facilities are not so good. Now there is a problem of bad debts, doubtful debts and overdues because more money has been lended to the priority sector, poor farmers. It, at times it happens that they are not able to repay their loans. So all this goes into non-performing assets or they become bad debts, debts that cannot be recovered. So the NPAs over the years has increased a lot because of more lending to the priority sector. But Recently, the, the laws have become more stringent, the uh, finance sector has become more strict and it is coming down. Now, there is a problem of effective management and control. There is no proper uh, management. It is more of a government sector kind of uh, thing that is there in the banking sector. Though now it has improved a lot. Metis, the people were not at all working in the banks, but now it has become a little better. Profitability ratio has also not improved much, majorly because of NPAs, bad debts, the profit is not much, then there are too many branches with too many people working there, so all these, the cost has increased and that is why the profitability ratio is down. And then there is lack of expertise in merchant banking and agricultural financing. These are certain shortcomings of the commercial banks.